Hello. Uh, the aim of this presentation is to show the Southern and Hodgman algorithm for uh, polygon clipping. So let's first describe what's the problem and why do we want this algorithm anyway. Okay, so we, we have a polygons that are uh, painted on the screen and we want to clip out the, the parts of the polygon which are outside the view. Why we want to clip the, the parts of the, poly of the polygon which are outside the view? Because uh, we often make computations on the polygon and we want to avoid making computations of par of, on parts that we don't see. So uh, we want to save computation time. So for example, if it, uh, it is our, uh, you can see here the clipping area or the, the screen itself, and we have this uh, triangle I would like uh, to keep only the internal part and I would like to discard the external part ok continue so uh, first I want to show a partially correct theory because I saw the theory in many many other tutorials and I think it's it's uh, worth to, men to mention that it's not totally correct but it is also important because it, we have some usage of it in the, in the correct uh, theory ok so uh, we, while iterating all the, of, we, we, the polygon, the polygon is, consists of edges of, uh, of vertices and edges but we, want, we care now about vertices and we, we iterate over a pair of adjacent uh, vertices counterclockwise and let's see if, if I have two adjacent uh, vertices counterclockwise uh, which are both inside the clipping area I save only the second one so if the, the edge here was from V1 to V2 I save only V2 if I have two uh, vertices that are both outside the clipping area I save none of, none of them ok if I have uh, uh, one, vertex, one vertex that is inside and another that is outside and the edge goes from inside to outside I do something uh, more complex a little bit I create a new vertex uh, V1 dash and I save only V1 dash don't save anything else and the last uh, uh, the last option is when I have a vertex from outside to inside in this case I also create some other vertex you can see that both here and both here I, ca I put this vertex on the intersection point of the edge yeah, of the clipping array ok so here I also create another vertex and I save, I save both the new vertex I created and the internal one ok so inside inside I save only the second outside outside I save nothing inside outside I save only the intersection and outside inside I save both the intersection and the inside but this is very nice it works in some parts it works in some instances but not in all of the cases uh, although it doesn't work in all of the cases we will use this theory uh, with another a little, with, with a little change ok let's see why, why uh, let's see a case which uh, fails with the theory we just, uh, we just showed so consider this polygon you can see that all the vertices are outside so if we follow what we, what we saw in the former slide uh, if you remember if, if uh, both uh, adjacent vertices are outside we save nothing so if we take each pair of, uh, of adjacent, adjacent uh, vertices we will end up with no vertex at all for, for each pair I save nothing finally I will have no, no vertex I will have no vertex, I have no polygon so we need to fix something here yeah, so we will see the correct algorithm now so the correction for what we saw before so it was incorrect to consider a vertex 
as inside or outside the clipping area. If you remember, we defined the four rules a few slides ago. So the rules were uh, were defined for uh, uh, for, vert for vertices that are inside or outside the clipping area. So it's incorrect to consider them like this. The correct consideration is instead of uh, looking at the whole clipping area, we'll each time uh, look at one of the edges of the clipping area. So the, in our example, we have clipping area made of uh, four edges, left, right, top, and the bottom. So we take each of them, and we check for each vertex if it, it, it is in the inner side or in the outer side of, the, of this edge. If it's not very clear, we'll now see an example. I hope it will make it more clear. So, we have the following polygon. Let's clip it. Let's, uh, let's clip it and leave only the part that, are, that is inside the clipping area. Uh, we are going to iterate uh, over the edges in the following order. First, we'll uh, look at the left edge, then on the right edge, then, sorry, then on the bottom edge, then on the right edge, and then on the top edge. But we could also use any other, uh, any other order, it doesn't matter. It is arbitrary. And uh, another thing that is important is that uh, we saw in the in, uh, a few slides ago that after, after each, uh, that we, we, al we always save, uh, save uh, vert vertices. So for each edge, I will save the vertices of this edge, and the vertices I, the vertices I saved will be used as an input for the next edge. So the, f the first uh, edge, uh, in our example, it's the left. It will find some. Uh, it will save some vertices, and the vertices it saved will be the vertices that the bottom edge will check. Okay. So let's first see, first see the the left edge. You can see I uh, extended the border here. This is what also should be done in the algorithm. And now I can see that all what, uh, all what, all the, everything on the left of this of this border, I consider it is outer, and everything on the right I consider it as inner. So let's uh, let's check the first pair v1, v2. In our case, both v1 and v2 are on the right of the left edge. So I consider I consider them as both inside, inside to inside. So if I use the, the rule we saw in, uh, in the one of the first uh, slides, I should save only v2. So this is what I do, saving v2. Next pair, v2, vs, v3. Again, they are both on the right of the left edge, so inside, inside, saving v3. The same happens for v3, v4, saving v4, and again v4 to v1, saving v1. Actually, uh, for the left edge, we didn't change anything. We 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 got back all the exactly the the same group of vertices we had before. Now let's continue to the bottom border and see what happens. Okay, bottom border. Let's first start with with the first uh, pair v1 and v2 i can see now that i can see now that uh, here is outside and here is inside so v1 is in v2 they are both outside because they are both outside i save nothing like the rules we saw in the first slide okay next pair uh, so another thing to, to say we, al we always, if we save something, if you could see this, we, ha we never save the first one, we always save the, the, second, one, the second one. So if we iterated over, uh, over a pair and we didn't save the last one, it probably means that we discard it. It doesn't probably mean, it means that, it, that we, it actually means to discard it. Okay, so we discarded V2. Now let's see, we still iterate over the original uh, uh, the original input we got from the last uh, from the last clipping, which is uh, v2 was there, so now my next pair is v2, v3. Let's check. So now it's a, it's a more complex more complex uh, instance. Here v2 is outside, but v, but v3 is inside. 
if you remember from the one of the first slide, uh, what we do here is we create in the intersection point. Here is it is outside the clipping area, but here is the intersection point with the line of the bottom border. We create a new vertex v2 tag v2 dash. Okay, so we are going to save both v2 dash and v3. Next. Here we have uh, V3 and V4. They are both inside because they are above the bottom border. So we're saving V4 like we know for both uh, inside. And the last pair, V4 and V1. V4 is inside, V1 is outside. So what are we doing? Like what we did here, we create another, uh, we create another vertex on the intersection. V4 dash and we save only v4 dash sorry it's not like what we've done with here because here we went from outside to inside and here we go from inside to outside so from inside to outside we, we save both the intersection and the inside and from outside to inside we save only the intersection uh, sorry from inside to outside we save only the intersection so actually we didn't save v1 so it is also discarded Okay, we already uh, clipped from the left edge and from the bottom edge. Now let's continue to the left to the right edge. Okay, here is the, my border now. Let's see the first uh, the first pair, v2 dash and v3. If I look at the at the right edge, I can see that they are both outside, so I save nothing. Okay, continue. Uh, okay, uh, so said nothing, discarded V3. Continuing, now I check V3 and V4. Again, they are both outside, so I discard V4. Let's see the next one. V, uh, V4 vs V4 dash. We can see that this is outside and this is inside, so what we do here? We create another vertex on the intersection. The vertex is V4 two dashes. So we save both v4 and two dashes and v4 dash. And the last pair, v4 dash and v2 dash, one is inside and one is outside. So we save only the intersection. We define a new vertex, v4 three dashes. And we save it also. So we actually discarded now v2 dash. So currently we have only v4 dash v4 three dashes and v4 two dashes. Let's continue to the top uh, uh, to the top clipper. Okay. Let's see the first pair v v4 dash and v4 three dashes. They are both in the inner side, so we're saving v4 three dashes. Now the next one v4 three dashes and v4 two dashes. Again inside and inside, saving the second one. And the last pair, v4 two dashes and v4 dash. Again, they are both inside, saving v4 dash. Actually, actually, I saved all of them. So the the upper bottom didn't, the upper clipper didn't didn't uh, discard any any of them and didn't create any new vertex. So you can see this is actually the clip. This is actually the clip uh, rectangle. That I that I wanted to to end with. Okay, this is the algorithm. Let's uh, say some summary. Uh, so we iterated over each each of the clipping area edges uh, over each edge of the clipping area. In instead of considering uh, each vertex is inside or outside the clipping area, we consider it we consider it as, uh, in the inner side or the outer side of the of this uh, edge. Uh, we another thing to mention is that, that we used the we used the, the rules that we saw in the one of the first slides, but instead of uh, instead of using the in, inside the, the the clipping area, we used the clipping edge. Uh, another thing to mention, uh, also said before, uh, the order of, of edges is not doesn't matter. I could choose any other any other order. We go from we went from left bottom right to top but we can we could choose uh, 
any other order. Uh, we did it in, we did it in two di dimensions. Uh, so uh, in regular case we have uh, four edges of rectangle, but if it was 3D, so we had probably uh, six edges of box. But it would also work uh, if it's not a rectangle or box. It would could it could work also for other uh, flipping areas. And that's it. I hope it helped you. Thank you.